Lesson 1, Making Plans for the Weekend Hi Anna, do you have any plans for the weekend? Hi John, yes, I'm thinking of going hiking. That sounds fun. I'm planning to visit my family. How long are you planning to stay? Just for the day. I want to enjoy the hike and be back before it gets dark. It's a moderate trail, so it should take around two to three hours. Perfect. I think I'll join you. Great. We can enjoy the nature together. I'll bring some snacks and water. Is there anything else we need? Wear comfortable shoes and bring a hat for sun protection. Nature has a way of rejuvenating us. Let's make the most of it. I agree. It's good to get outdoors and recharge our batteries once in a while. See you on Saturday. Can't wait for our adventure. Lesson 2, Artistic Inspiration Hi Anna, have you seen those new art supplies at the store? Hi John, yes. They have a wide variety of colors and textures. That's amazing. Those are great for adding depth and texture to drawings. Definitely. I'm excited to try them out in my next art project. What kind of art do you enjoy creating the most? I love painting landscapes and capturing the beauty of nature. That sounds wonderful. Nature provides so much inspiration, doesn't it? Absolutely. The colors and shapes in nature are truly captivating. Have you ever considered exhibiting your artwork in a gallery? I've thought about it, but I'm not sure if I'm ready for that step yet. Don't worry. You have great talent. I believe in you. Thanks. Your encouragement means a lot to me. You're welcome. I'm always here to support your artistic journey. I appreciate that. It's nice to have someone who believes in me. Art has the power to touch people's hearts. Keep creating and sharing your work. I will. And thank you for being such an inspiration to me as well. That's very kind of you. Let's continue to inspire each other. Absolutely. Let's keep exploring our creativity together. Agreed. Here's to our artistic adventures. Cheers. Lesson 3, Navigating the Internet Hi Anna, have you heard about the high-speed internet service in our area? Hi John, yes. It's supposed to be excellent for fast and reliable connections. That's great news. High-speed internet is so convenient for our daily tasks. Absolutely. It allows us to stream videos, download files, and browse seamlessly. 
Are there any rules or guidelines we should follow while using the internet? It's important to practice online safety and protect our personal information. I agree. We should be cautious when sharing sensitive data online. Also, it's good to be mindful of our screen time and maintain a healthy balance. That's true. Spending too much time online can affect our well-being. It's recommended to take breaks and engage in other activities offline. I like the idea of disconnecting and enjoying some time away from screens. It's refreshing and allows us to appreciate the world beyond the digital realm. Absolutely. Let's make the most of the internet while staying mindful. Lesson 4. Embracing the Summer Breeze Hi Anna, there's a lovely breeze outside today, isn't there? Hi John, yes. It's refreshing and perfect for enjoying the outdoors. I agree. It makes me want to spend some time in nature. Me too. I might head to the beach to cool off and relax. That sounds wonderful. The beach is always a great escape. Absolutely. The sound of the waves and the sand between my toes is so soothing. I enjoy swimming in the ocean and feeling the cool water against my skin. It's a great way to beat the heat and have some fun. Do you have any beach essentials that you always bring with you? Sunscreen, a beach towel, and a good book are must-haves for me. Good call. Protecting our skin and having something to read is important. And of course, a refreshing beverage to quench our thirst. Definitely. Staying hydrated is key, especially on sunny days. I couldn't agree more. Let's make the most of this beautiful weather. Absolutely. Thanks for the delightful conversation. Lesson 5. Making plans for dinner. Hi Anna, would you like to grab dinner sometime? Hi John, sure. I'd love to. When were you thinking? How about this Friday evening? Sounds good. Where should we meet? There's a new Italian restaurant downtown. Shall we try that? That's a great idea. I've heard good things about it. Perfect. Let's meet there at 7 p.m. Okay, I'll mark it on my calendar. Looking forward to it. Me too. It'll be nice to catch up and enjoy a good meal together. Definitely. It's been a while since we've hung out. No problem. Let me know when you're free, and we'll make it happen. Will do. I'll check my schedule and get back to you soon. Sounds good. Take your time. Just let me know when you're available. 
Thanks. I appreciate your flexibility. I'll get back to you soon. No worries. Take care, and I'll talk to you soon. Lesson 6, Learning Progress Hi Anna, how has the learning process been for you so far? Hi John, it's been great. I'm enjoying discovering new words and expressions. That's wonderful to hear. Learning a language can be so fulfilling. Absolutely. It opens up new opportunities for communication and understanding. Have you found any specific strategies helpful in your learning journey? Yes, practicing conversations with native speakers has been invaluable. That's a fantastic approach. Speaking with others helps improve fluency. I've also been using flashcards to memorize vocabulary words. Flashcards are a useful tool for building a strong word bank. I agree. They make it easier to recall words and their meanings. Have you encountered any challenges along the way? Pronunciation has been a bit challenging, but I'm working on it. That's understandable. Pronunciation takes time and practice. I've been listening to podcasts and imitating native speaker speech. That's a fantastic way to improve your pronunciation skills. Thank you. Your support and encouragement mean a lot to me. You're doing great. Keep up the excellent work. I appreciate your kind words. Let's continue learning together. Absolutely. Together, we can achieve our language goals. Lesson 7, Building Confidence in Communication Hi Anna, it's important to be confident when communicating. Hi John, you're right. Confidence helps convey our message effectively. Maintaining eye contact shows attentiveness and engagement. Absolutely. It fosters a connection and enhances communication. When unsure, don't hesitate to ask questions about the topic or role. Asking questions demonstrates curiosity and willingness to learn. It also clarifies any uncertainties and helps us gain a better understanding. Confidence grows with practice, so let's keep engaging in conversations. That's the spirit. The more we practice, the more confident we become. And let's not be afraid of making mistakes. They're part of the learning process. You're absolutely right. Mistakes are opportunities for growth. Let's embrace them and learn from them, striving to improve each day. Exactly. And remember, everyone starts somewhere. We're all learners. That's a comforting thought. We're all on this language journey together. Indeed. Let's support and encourage each other along the way. 
Thank you. Your encouragement means a lot to me. You're welcome. It's a pleasure to be your language learning partner. Lesson 8, Fitness Goals and Workouts Hi Anna, it's true that you can find workouts for different fitness levels and goals. Hi John, absolutely. There are exercises tailored to everyone's needs. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced athlete, there's something for everyone. That's great. It ensures that everyone can stay active and healthy. If you're just starting, low-impact exercises are a good option. They're gentle on the joints and help build a solid foundation. As you progress, you can incorporate more challenging workouts. High-intensity interval training, HIT, is great for burning calories and building endurance. Weightlifting is beneficial for strength and muscle development. And don't forget about flexibility exercises like yoga or Pilates. They improve mobility and help prevent injuries. It's essential to listen to your body and find workouts that you enjoy. Absolutely. When you enjoy your workouts, it's easier to stay motivated. And remember, consistency is key. Regular exercise yields the best results. That's right. Let's keep pushing ourselves and reaching our fitness goals. Thank you for this inspiring conversation. You're welcome. It's a pleasure discussing health and fitness with you. Lesson 9, Traveling and Baggage Limits Hi Anna, you're right. Is there a weight limit for checked baggage? Hi John, yes, airlines usually have weight restrictions for checked bags. What are the typical weight limits for checked luggage? It varies among airlines, but it's often around 50 pounds or 23 kilograms. That's good to know. Is there a limit for carry-on bags as well? Yes, there are size and weight restrictions for carry-on luggage too. What are the dimensions and weight limits for carry-on bags? The dimensions are usually around 22 by 14 by 9 inches, and weight limits vary. Are there any restrictions on items you can pack in your luggage? Yes, certain items like liquids and sharp objects have restrictions. So, it's important to check the airline's guidelines before packing. Absolutely. It helps avoid any issues at the airport. Are there additional fees for exceeding the weight limits? Yes, airlines may charge extra fees for overweight or oversized bags. That's good to keep in mind while packing for a trip. It's always a good idea to pack efficiently and weigh your bags beforehand. Thank you for sharing these valuable travel tips. You're welcome. 
I hope they help you on your future travels. I appreciate your assistance. Let's continue exploring new topics together. Lesson 10, Navigating Bus Schedules Hi Anna, is there a bus schedule one should know about? Hi John, buses run every 15 minutes from 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. That's convenient. How can we find the specific bus routes? You can check the bus company's website or use a mobile app. Are there any peak hours when buses are more crowded? Typically, rush hours in the morning and evening can be busier. Good to know. Is there a specific fare for the bus? Yes, the fare is $2.50 per ride, payable with cash or a transit card. Are there discounts for students or seniors? Yes, students and seniors can get discounted fares with proper identification. What if I need to transfer to another bus? Transfers are allowed within a certain time frame, usually within two hours. That's helpful. How do I know where to get off the bus? There are announcements and digital displays on the bus indicating the stops. If I miss my stop, can I request the bus driver to stop at the next one? Yes, you can politely ask the driver to stop at the next available stop. Are there any safety tips to keep in mind while taking the bus? It's important to keep an eye on your belongings and be aware of your surroundings. Thank you for sharing this valuable information. Lesson 11, Fashion and Style Hi Anna, how about a trendy pair of jeans with a stylish graphic t-shirt? Hi John, that sounds like a great outfit combination. I love how jeans can be versatile and go with almost anything. Absolutely. They're a wardrobe staple for many people. What styles of jeans are popular these days? Skinny jeans, mom jeans, and boyfriend jeans are quite trendy. And what about the graphic t-shirt? Any suggestions? You can choose one with a cool design or a witty slogan. I like the idea of expressing myself through a t-shirt. It's a fun way to showcase your personality. Should I go for a fitted or oversized graphic t-shirt? It depends on your personal preference and the look you want to achieve. I think I'll go for a slightly oversized one for a relaxed vibe. That sounds great. Don't forget to accessorize with a cool pair of sneakers. Absolutely. Comfortable footwear is a must. And you can add a stylish jacket or a hat to complete the look. Thanks for the fashion tips. I'm excited to try this outfit. You're welcome.
I'm sure you'll rock it. Let's continue exploring different styles together. Definitely. Fashion is always evolving. Thank you for the chat. Thank you too. Stay stylish and take care. Lesson 12, Achieving Work-Life Balance. Hi Anna, do you have any tips for achieving a better work-life balance? Hi John, it's important to prioritize and set boundaries. How can I prioritize effectively? Start by identifying your most important tasks and allocate time for them. What about setting boundaries? Set limits on working hours and avoid bringing work home. Is it helpful to delegate tasks to others? Yes, delegating tasks can help lighten your workload. How can I manage my time more efficiently? Plan your schedule and use productivity tools to stay organized. Should I make time for hobbies and personal activities? Absolutely, engaging in activities you enjoy helps reduce stress. How can I disconnect from work during my downtime? Create boundaries by turning off notifications and avoiding work-related activities. What if my work demands long hours? Look for ways to negotiate a better work-life balance with your employer. Is it important to communicate openly with colleagues? Yes, effective communication can help set expectations and boundaries. How can I avoid burnout? Take regular breaks, practice self-care, and ask for support when needed. Should I strive for perfection in all areas of life? Strive for progress, not perfection. It's okay to prioritize and make trade-offs. Thank you for these valuable insights. Lesson 13, Travel Recommendations. Hi Anna, I recommend the Central Hotel. It's centrally located and has good reviews. Hi John, that sounds like a great choice. Convenience and positive reviews are important. Yes, staying in a central location makes it easier to explore the city. Absolutely. It saves time and allows for more efficient sightseeing. Do you have any other hotel recommendations? The Riverside Hotel is another excellent option with beautiful river views. That sounds lovely. Are there any budget-friendly hotels you can suggest? The Green Inn is a budget-friendly option that offers comfortable accommodations. It's good to have affordable alternatives. What about amenities? The Central Hotel offers amenities like a fitness center and complimentary breakfast. That's convenient. I like hotels with fitness facilities. It's great to have options for staying active while traveling. 
Are there any nearby attractions or landmarks? The Central Hotel is close to the city's main attractions and landmarks. That's perfect. I want to make the most of my time exploring. Being centrally located will definitely enhance your experience. Thank you for the recommendation. I appreciate it. You're welcome. I hope you have a fantastic stay. I'm excited to explore the city. Let's keep sharing travel tips. Absolutely. Safe travels and enjoy your trip. Thank you. I'll make the most of it. Take care. Lesson 14, Booking Hotel Accommodation. Hi Anna, I need to book a hotel for two nights from October 15th. Would you prefer a single or double room? Hi John, I would prefer a double room for more space and comfort. Great choice. I'll make sure to book a double room for us. Thank you. It's nice to have a bit more room to relax. Definitely. Now, let's consider the type of bed. King or queen sized? A queen sized bed would be perfect for the two of us. Agreed. I'll make a note of that when booking. Thank you. It's important to have a comfortable sleep. Absolutely. Now, what about the amenities? Any preferences? It would be nice to have Wi-Fi and a mini fridge in the room. Noted. I'll check if those amenities are available. Thank you. Wi-Fi is essential for staying connected. Yes, especially when traveling. Now, let's talk about the location. I prefer a central location for easy access to attractions and restaurants. That makes sense. Being centrally located is convenient. Definitely. It saves time and allows for more exploration. I'll look for a hotel that meets all our preferences. Thank you. I appreciate your efforts in finding the right place. You're welcome. I want us to have a comfortable stay. I'm sure you'll make the perfect choice. Thank you. Thank you. Let's look forward to a great trip together. Lesson 15, Therapeutic Cleaning. Hi Anna, it sounds like cleaning can actually be therapeutic. Hi John, that's true. Cleaning can provide a sense of accomplishment and clarity. I never thought of it that way. How does it help with clarity? Cleaning your physical space can help clear your mind and reduce stress. That's interesting. So, it's like decluttering your thoughts as well? Exactly. Organizing your surroundings can bring a sense of order to your thoughts. 
I see. And what about the sense of accomplishment? When you clean and see the results, it gives you a feeling of achievement. That makes sense. It's satisfying to see things neat and tidy. Absolutely. It can boost your mood and make you feel more in control. I'll definitely try approaching cleaning with a different mindset. That's great. You might discover a newfound appreciation for it. Thank you for sharing this perspective on cleaning. You're welcome. Remember, a clean space can lead to a clear mind. I will keep that in mind. Thanks again. Lesson 16, Transportation Options. Hi Anna, I have a good idea. Should we rent a car or use public transportation? Hi John, that's a great question. Let's consider the pros and cons. Renting a car would give us more flexibility and convenience. True, but public transportation can be more cost-effective and eco-friendly. That's a good point. We should also consider traffic and parking. Yes, traffic can be a hassle in some areas, and parking might be expensive. Public transportation can save us from those headaches. Agreed. It can also give us a chance to experience the local culture. That's true. We can interact with locals and get a feel for the city. On the other hand, a car would be ideal for exploring remote areas. Yes, it would allow us to venture off the beaten path. We could rent a car for specific days when we need it. That's a good compromise. We can use public transportation most of the time. It sounds like a plan. We'll have the best of both worlds. Thank you for discussing this with me. Your insights are valuable. You're welcome. I always enjoy brainstorming with you. Let's finalize our decision and make the most of our trip. Absolutely. It's going to be an amazing adventure. I can't wait. Thanks again. Take care. Lesson 17, Renting a Car or Using Public Transportation Hi Anna, that sounds like a good idea. Do they have a wide selection? Hi John, yes, they offer a wide selection of cars for different needs. That's great. We can choose the one that suits us best. Absolutely. We should consider our budget and the number of passengers. Right. We don't want to overspend or feel cramped during the trip. Agreed. Renting a car gives us more flexibility and convenience. True, but what about using public transportation? It can be cost-effective. That's a good point. Public transportation can save us money on parking and fuel. 
plus, it's more environmentally friendly. Definitely. We should also check the availability and reliability of public transportation. Yes, we don't want to be stranded or waste time waiting for buses. I'll research the transportation options and their schedules. Thank you. Your thoroughness is appreciated. You're welcome. I want us to have a smooth travel experience. I appreciate that. Let's weigh the pros and cons before making a decision. Agreed. We'll choose the option that best suits our needs and preferences. Thanks. I'm confident we'll make the right choice. Lesson 18, Challenging Ourselves with Puzzles Hi Anna, agreed. Let's keep challenging ourselves with puzzles and continue enjoying the process. Hi John, I'm glad you're enthusiastic about it. Puzzles can be both entertaining and beneficial for our minds. Definitely. They improve our problem-solving skills and cognitive abilities. That's right. They also enhance our focus and concentration. Plus, they provide a sense of accomplishment when we solve them. Absolutely. The feeling of successfully completing a puzzle is rewarding. It's a great way to exercise our brains and keep them sharp. I couldn't agree more. We should try different types of puzzles to keep things interesting. Yes, like jigsaw puzzles, crosswords, sudoku, and brain teasers. We can challenge ourselves with different difficulty levels too. That's a good idea. It will help us progress and improve our skills. And we can do puzzles together, making it a fun and interactive activity. I like that idea. It'll be a great way to spend quality time together. Definitely. We can also learn from each other and share our strategies. Thank you for suggesting this engaging activity. You're welcome. Let's embark on this puzzle-solving journey together. It sounds like a plan. I'm looking forward to our puzzle sessions. Me too. Let's challenge ourselves and have a great time. Thanks again. I appreciate your enthusiasm and support. My pleasure. Let's enjoy the puzzles and keep our minds sharp. Absolutely. Take care and have a wonderful day. Lesson 19, Quick Breakfast Choices Hi Anna, have you had breakfast yet? Hi John, not really. I grabbed a banana on my way out. Breakfast is important for a good start to the day. Let's discuss quick options. That sounds like a good idea. What do you suggest? How about a bowl of cereal with milk? It's quick and provides energy. 
That's a good suggestion. We can also try yogurt with granola and fruits. Yes, that's a healthy and filling option. What about toast with peanut butter? I like that idea too. It's simple and gives us protein. Another option is a smoothie with fruits, spinach, and yogurt. That sounds refreshing. Smoothies are a great way to get nutrients. We can also make overnight oats the night before for a hassle-free breakfast. Overnight oats are convenient and customizable. We can add our favorite toppings. Absolutely. And if we're in a rush, a protein bar or a boiled egg can work too. Quick and easy. Those are good grab-and-go options. I'm glad we explored different choices. Breakfast doesn't have to be time-consuming. You're right. It's important to fuel our bodies with something nutritious in the morning. Thank you for discussing breakfast options with me. Lesson 20, Backpacking in Thailand and Vietnam Hi Anna, have you considered backpacking in Thailand or Vietnam? Hi John, yes, they are popular choices for backpackers. Both countries offer unique experiences. That's true. Thailand has stunning beaches, while Vietnam has beautiful landscapes. I've heard Thailand is known for its vibrant nightlife and delicious street food. Absolutely. And Vietnam is famous for its rich history and mouth-watering cuisine. I'm excited to explore the bustling markets and try authentic local dishes. Me too. We can also visit historical sites like the ancient temples in Thailand and the Siu Chi tunnels in Vietnam. It would be interesting to learn about their cultures and traditions. Definitely. We can immerse ourselves in the local lifestyle and interact with friendly locals. I've heard that transportation is convenient and affordable in both countries. That's a plus. It would make it easier for us to travel between cities and explore different regions. We should also consider the weather and plan our trip accordingly. Yes, avoiding the rainy seasons would be ideal for outdoor activities. Let's research popular destinations and create an itinerary that suits our interests. Sounds like a plan. We can also connect with other backpackers and share travel tips. Good idea. It will enhance our experience and create lasting memories. Thank you for considering this adventure with me. You're welcome. Let's make it an unforgettable journey together. I appreciate your enthusiasm and support. Let's start planning our backpacking trip. Absolutely. I can't wait to embark on this adventure with you. Thanks again. Let's make the most of our time in Thailand and Vietnam. Lesson 21, Building a Productive Routine 
Hi Anna, establishing a routine has been quite difficult for me lately. Hi John, I understand. Maybe creating a daily to-do list can help. That's a good idea. It will provide structure and keep me organized. Start by writing down your tasks and prioritize them. I should also allocate specific time slots for each task. Yes, setting deadlines will help you stay focused and motivated. I'll make sure to break down larger tasks into smaller, manageable steps. That's a smart approach. It will prevent overwhelm and make progress easier. I can also incorporate breaks and relaxation time into my routine. It's important to take care of yourself and avoid burnout. Absolutely. I'll include exercise and self-care activities in my daily plan. Great idea. Physical activity and self-care contribute to overall well-being. I'll review my to-do list at the end of each day and make adjustments if needed. That's a good practice. It will help you stay on track. Thank you for suggesting this helpful strategy. You're welcome. I'm glad I could assist you. I appreciate your support and encouragement. It's my pleasure. I believe in your ability to establish a productive routine. Thank you. I'll work on implementing these changes starting today. Lesson 22, Exploring Photography Subjects Hi Anna, what subjects do you like to shoot in photography? Hi John, I prefer nature and wildlife photography. How about you? I enjoy capturing urban landscapes and street scenes. That's interesting. Urban photography can be dynamic and vibrant. Yes, there's a unique energy in city environments. Nature and wildlife photography allow me to connect with the beauty of the natural world. I can see why. Nature has so much to offer in terms of colors and textures. Absolutely. It's a way for me to appreciate and preserve the wonders of our planet. Urban landscapes, on the other hand, showcase the human-made structures and their interactions. I agree. It's fascinating to capture the architecture and people's daily lives. Do you have any tips for getting started in nature photography? Patience is key. Observing and understanding your subjects is crucial for capturing their essence. That's a valuable advice. I'll keep that in mind. And for urban photography, try exploring different angles and perspectives to bring out the character of the city. I'll experiment with different compositions and viewpoints. Thanks for the tip. You're welcome. Photography is a wonderful way to express creativity and tell stories. I couldn't agree more. It allows us to capture moments and share them with others. 
It's a universal language that transcends barriers. Indeed. Thank you for sharing your insights on photography. You're welcome. I'm always happy to talk about photography. I appreciate your passion and knowledge. It's inspiring. Thank you. Let's continue to explore and capture the beauty around us. Absolutely. Let's keep our cameras ready and unleash our creativity. Lesson 23, Exciting New Gadgets. Hi Anna, have you heard about any new gadgets that will be introduced soon? Hi John, yes, there are some exciting innovations coming up. That's interesting. What kind of gadgets are we talking about? Well, there are rumors of advanced smartphones with incredible camera capabilities. That sounds amazing. It would revolutionize mobile photography. Absolutely. And there's talk about smart home devices with enhanced artificial intelligence. Smart homes are becoming more popular. It's fascinating to see how technology is transforming our living spaces. Indeed. Another area of focus is wearable technology, like smart watches with health monitoring features. Wearables are gaining traction. It's great to have convenient access to health data on our wrists. Virtual reality and augmented reality devices are also expected to make significant advancements. VR and AR have so much potential. They can revolutionize gaming, entertainment, and even education. Absolutely. And let's not forget about the continuous development of drones with improved features. Drones have opened up new possibilities for aerial photography and videography. They have indeed. It's an exciting time for tech enthusiasts. I can't wait to see these gadgets in action. The future is full of possibilities. It's fascinating to witness the rapid pace of technological advancements. Thank you for sharing these exciting updates on upcoming gadgets. You're welcome. It's always a pleasure discussing technology with you. I appreciate your insights and enthusiasm. It's inspiring. Thank you. Let's stay curious and embrace the wonders of innovation. Absolutely. Here's to a future filled with amazing gadgets. Lesson 24, Ethical Leadership. Hi Anna, do you think we should tolerate corruption or unethical behavior from our leaders? Hi John, absolutely not. Ethical leadership is crucial for a just society. I agree. Our leaders should serve as role models and uphold high moral standards. Ethical leaders inspire trust and promote integrity in governance. Exactly. Corruption undermines the values and progress of a nation. 
We should hold our leaders accountable for their actions and demand transparency. Transparency is key to ensure that those in power act in the best interest of the people. It's essential to have systems in place to prevent and address corruption. We should promote a culture of ethics and integrity in all levels of government. Education and awareness play a vital role in cultivating ethical leadership. By fostering a sense of responsibility, we can create a better future for all. We should encourage ethical behavior not only in politics, but also in business and society as a whole. Ethical leadership sets the foundation for a just and prosperous society. It's important for us as citizens to stand up against corruption and unethical practices. Together, we can create a positive change and shape a better world. Thank you for discussing this important topic of ethical leadership. You're welcome. It's a pleasure to have these meaningful conversations with you. Likewise. Let's continue to advocate for ethical leadership and hold our leaders accountable. Absolutely. Here's to a future governed by integrity and ethical values. Lesson 25, Overcoming Challenges. Hi Anna, have you ever faced a challenging situation that seemed difficult to overcome? Hi John, yes, I have. It can be quite challenging to find a way forward at times. I can relate. It's during those moments that we discover our true strength and resilience. Absolutely. Challenges provide opportunities for growth and self-discovery. It's important to have a positive mindset and believe in our ability to overcome obstacles. Yes, a positive mindset can help us navigate through even the toughest of situations. Seeking support from others can also make a significant difference. Having a support system can provide encouragement and different perspectives. And let's not forget the importance of perseverance. Sometimes, it's about taking one step at a time. That's true. Breaking down the challenge into smaller, manageable tasks can make it less overwhelming. Celebrating small victories along the way can also boost our motivation and morale. Absolutely. It's important to acknowledge and appreciate our progress, no matter how small. Reflecting on past challenges that we've overcome can remind us of our resilience. Our past successes serve as a reminder that we have the strength to overcome current challenges. And it's okay to ask for help when we need it. We don't have to face challenges alone. Asking for help is a sign of strength, not weakness. It shows our willingness to learn and grow. Thank you for sharing your insights on overcoming challenges. You're welcome. It's always helpful to discuss strategies for facing difficulties. I appreciate your wisdom and support. Together, we can overcome anything that comes our way. 
Absolutely. Let's face challenges head on and embrace the opportunities for growth. Here's to resilience and never giving up.